everybody, welcome back to the show, and I can't think of a better spot for today's fan mail, so here we go. Today's unsigned letter comes from Burlington, Vermont, and it reads, I moved to Vermont from New Jersey six years ago, and I just happened to catch an episode of your show. I have to start by telling you that you're an idiot. Logical people know that hunting lowers animal populations, not raises them. Anyone with a brain can see you're using the economy excuse to better your own cause and that hunting does not and cannot help wildlife. You're never going to convince the public that teaching children to kill will benefit anyone. The days of your blood sport are almost over and I personally am looking forward to the day our government stops all the violence towards these helpless animals. Boy, do you have it all wrong. And you know those government officials you're waiting for to help you stop hunting? Well, this is what they have to say on the subject. Any, any child can hunt in the state of Vermont as long as they pass the hunter safety course. There's no age limitation. And of course, if you haven't passed your hunter safety course, uh, children are always welcome to go with their, their parents um, you know, out in the field, although they can't, they can't hunt. They can, of course, enjoy the opportunity. Especially nice is the fact that we have um, three special seasons for youths. We've got the deer season that, that you folks, or the deer weekend that you folks participate in. We also have waterfowl, special waterfowl season, and a special turkey season that, that uh, uh, youth hunters can, can participate in. And those are all very popular. This year we had about 6,400 youth hunters that participated, which is great. That's, those are the kind of numbers that we need to have in order to sustain uh, deer hunting in the state for uh, Vermont in the future. <laughs> I'm sure the writer's thrilled that the state's also trying to recruit youth hunters. You see, I'm not the only idiot in Vermont that thinks this way, and here's why. But you're also the eyes and ears for us when it comes to balance of the ecosystem. When the ecosystem isn't balanced, there'll be no habitat there, and probably the best signal we get is from the hunters. Uh, as I view it, uh, the sportsmen of Vermont are great environmentalists, and I want to thank you for, for what you've done uh, for the state of Vermont. And the governor put a challenge to you uh, early this year to be able to write stories on your experience. And if anybody doesn't believe in getting children involved in hunting and fishing, you just have to read a few of those stories because uh, what these children are doing, I will guarantee you, our woods uh, and our environment will always be protected. And we save the best for last. Well, hunting and fishing, trapping are important elements of our state's economy. We want to be sure that we continue to have a strong deer and moose herd. We continue to maintain the natural beauty of our state, the quality of our air and water, and uh, the strong tradition of outdoor recreation that has been a part of Vermont's legacy for literally centuries. Not only is uh, uh, hunting uh, uh, an important part of our economy, but it's an important part of, of our legacy, our tradition, our culture as a state. It really defines who we are as Vermonters. And it's so important that we pass that tradition and that legacy on to the next generation. Which is exactly what I'm trying to do. Thanks for writing in and please remember to vote.